outside as the metal is changing. When you're out in space, you hear only the noises from inside your helmet, unless you're holding on to something that might be vibrating, and then you can hear that noise, since noise is a vibration. Over. We have a routine of physical fitness activities up here. We have a treadmill, we have a bicycle, and we also can lift weights using vacuum as the source for the, for the weight. So yes, we work on muscle and bone mass um, every day while we're up here on ISS. Very scary event, Nicolo, so we try not to do that. We practice, we have very disciplined procedures to make sure that we, have, we are connected to the space station at all times. But if by chance that breaks or if we make a mistake, we do have a backpack on our spacesuits that hopefully we could fly back to the space station. We practice this using virtual reality. Over. Uh, hopefully we don't get sick because we go into quarantine before we come here, so most anything that we could have, any um, like colds, we won't bring up here. But you could get hurt while you're up here, or you know something, you could have some reaction, for example, to some type of food. So we do have a whole uh, a bunch of equipment, medical equipment, and we are ready, we're all trained to uh, help each other, and actually right now we have a doctor on board, but we always have doctors in mission control. Over. Specifically, I uh, joined the military, so I went to the Naval Academy, but there's astronauts who are doctors and scientists and engineers, so everybody has a, a, a education in STEM. Um, usually people get a master's degree or work on a team for about, uh, you know, a couple years, and become a leader and be part of that team uh, before you become an astronaut. Over. No, exactly. But you know, plus or minus a hundred degrees um, outside. But here inside the space station, we keep it like around seventy-five degrees Fahrenheit, and so it's very comfortable uh, to be working in shirt sleeves. But when you're outside on a spacewalk, you can feel those temperature changes as the sun sets or the sun rises. Over. The daily routine is sort of just like on Earth. We keep our time on the same as uh, Greenwich Mean Time. Uh, we wake up around 6 o'clock. I specifically, me and a couple people, work out early in the morning. Uh, you can work out at any time of the day. But then we have tasks. Sometimes they're science uh, activities. Sometimes we're doing uh, tests on ourselves. Sometimes we're doing organizing. Sometimes we're doing maintenance on the space station. And sometimes we are getting ready for a spacewalk or doing robotic arm operations. Over. The question was about day and, and night, right? Because it, we orbit the planet 16 times a day. So we, we keep a normal day and we keep the lights on uh, during the day. And then when it's time to go to sleep, we turn the lights off and shut the shutters to make it like nighttime. So we try to keep a normal human day while we're up here. Over. But we have the ability to talk to them on ham radio or on a, a family meeting conference over the computer system on the weekend. So we get to be in touch with our family and friends. But I really miss my dogs because I can't talk to them. Over. Some of the most fun I've had is some science experiments on capillary flow and surface tension. And uh, we've sort of uh, figured out how we might redesign or design fuel tanks in the future without using pumps. Over. Uh, everybody in Faso, India, Quebec, three Romeo whiskey for uh, inviting us to come on, uh, inviting us to join you, and thank you for coming on board the ISS. Over. <laughs>